Drake, how are we doing this week? What's going on? I'm doing all right. How are you good. feeling? How's uh, how's the body? How's the head? How's everything? Yeah, feeling pretty good. You know, came out of the game uh, feeling all right. You know, I think that's the best thing. You know, I think we're overall pretty healthy as a team, and uh, we got to get, I got to find a way to win. You know, we came up short, and uh, look looking forward to trying to get another chance next week. Can you add some clarity to how last week went for you in terms of the protocol? I know you made a comment post game about maybe you stumbled in the balance test with the turf and the cleats. Just can you take us through whatever the hell happened last week? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the spotter got me from up top, and then from there, um, you know, it was kind of going through the testing on the sideline. Um, they kind of doomed I wasn't, you know, good to go back. And uh, from there was just trying to find a way to get back. I wanted to go back out there, you know, last Sunday. I was just trying my, my hardest to get back out there this week. And I uh, got through the protocol to do some testing this week, um, but just glad I got to get back out there and compete with the guys. Have you had concussions before, like in college or high school or anything? Uh, not not reported, so not that I know. <laughs> okay, well, um, I mean, you know if you felt it again, I guess is the point. Like, did you yeah. did you think you had one? Um, I think I definitely took a hit to the head. You know, I'm not um, 100% sure if, you know, the testing, I think the, what the NFL does is, um, you know, to protect those quarterbacks. And obviously recently with what, what's happened with some of the quarterbacks around the league getting hit in the head, um, it's an emphasis for them. Um, so um, I think it's up to them, and I think they do a good job of protecting us, and, and the protocol is a – you know, great way for players to you know really see like if they're ready to go back out there and play. And you know, y'all saw this past Sunday, I was, I was good to go. Speaking of protecting quarterbacks, a lot of places teach sliding, and you obviously got hit on a slide from behind, sort of late. We've seen guys get hit front, back, side, late slides. Have you? Did you change anything this week? We didn't see any slides. Are you maybe evaluating? It's safer to go head first. Safer to kind of yeah. go forward. Um, you know, I think you know, I think the you know the organization and and uh, especially the offensive side, the coaches are. Do a good job of hey, you know, harping on hey, and you know, in certain situations, you know, when it's best to go head first, when it's best to kind of slide. I think I, I, I slid once and made sure to go head first there, but I'm um, just trying to, you know, protect my body and protect the, you know, my, you know, be being out there for the team, and uh, you know, the coaches do a nice job of emphasizing it, and they know that you know it's a big deal. So uh, you know, I'm not really worried. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing the same way as I'm, you know, as I, you know, we're out there every Sunday. Um, I'm not gonna change the play that I am, and uh, I think when you're one on one with the safety on that first run, and uh, you kind of gotta. You you know you know where the hits coming from. It's a little different. So um, I mean, there's different scenarios, and it's it's really hard to play. You know, kind of play them all out. So split second decision for me. And when it's third down, or you know, you got to have it with that last drive. I'm a, you know, get what I can and um, use it. You know, big six five dude. So uh, before we get on to any more football questions, what do you think of the new set? What do you think of the chairs here instead of the desk? Have you, did you even notice it was different? Uh yeah, I did. I kind of like the other setup a little better. <laughs> like better. I, this is a lot more like per, you know, like we're all right on top of each other. I feel like we should have a beer here. though, or <laughs> yeah. we're waiting little, in like a club or something. A little, it's a little, um, yeah, like bottle service tight coming here. Yeah, tight. it is a little tight. <laughs> I, I I asked. I was like, how's he gonna get in? If he trips and gets hurt in here, I'm not taking the yeah, blame exactly. for it. Oh, we definitely take the blame for that. Probably 100. percent You know that we would. Uh, all right. So with that uh, out of the way, uh, you you're in the protocol during the week. You're limited in practice. Were you at all concerned that not being able to uh, complete all the practices and get all the reps this week in practice might uh, reveal itself somehow during the game? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, I think you're, you're behind there watching practice. Um, you know, that first Wednesday, I'm going to get 30 minutes, and you use those 30 minutes wisely, you know, in, in reps where, um, you know, you're not, I'm not getting touched anyway as a quarterback. So I think it's a little easier for quarterbacks to go through the protocol. I mean, you're not getting touched in your red jersey out there regardless. Um, so I really wasn't really worried. Uh, I feel like I had a you know good good two days of practice, Thursday and Friday out there with the guys, and then, you know, felt good going into the game. So. Okay, so we've we've sort of buried the lead here. You had a play yesterday that was kind of the talk of the football world. Eleven point eight two seconds on that throw that ended up being the touchdown to Ramondre Stevenson. Take us through what is going through your mind when you are moving left, right, forward, up. It was that's a long time before you mm. throw a, a football in the red zone. Yeah, I think I missed Hunter uh, probably in the first you know second or two in the back you know back end zone on the on the end line. Um, so probably could have had that play over you know, a lot faster. <laughs> that um, wouldn't have been cool though. But yeah, they dropped you know they dropped cover two down there and they dropped the popper out too. So they really dropped, dropped, dropped eight and rushed three. So just trying to you know find a way to keep the play alive. You know once I miss Hunter in the back and then Hunter ended up stepping out of bounds. So it was good for him. You know I think he, uh, you know at the point waved to me not to throw to me one that, um, at one point. So uh, just trying to stay alive. I think Madre did a nice job of playing like a receiver and. Credit to those guys, uh, you know, up front for continuing to you know, fight through the play, and those guys, you know, receivers and running backs, just trying to find a way to to make a play. The longer it goes, are you reaching oh crap status, or do you feel like well they're going to let somebody open up sooner or later? Yeah, I think it's more of a hey somebody's going to pop open here soon. Yeah. You know, I think you just got to fade some some defenders sometimes, and Andre made a nice play.
Yeah, that was a, a tremendous play. I mean, it's really going to be one of those ones that people talk about all year. I know it was a play that happened in a loss, but in terms of your, you know, three starts that you made so far, does that one kind of stand out? Is that, I mean, that was a big moment. Zeros on the clock like that, that had to feel good. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, sitting at the overtime and, you know, getting those guys down there for, you know, a big drive to, you know, extend the game was, was huge. But obviously at the end of the day, we didn't win the football game. And that's the, that's a disappointing factor. Did you want to go for two there? Were you ready to go for two there? Um, I was just trying to catch my breath. I think it was it was, it was tough. So much emotion and um, you know, so much energy that we brought out in that long drive. And, you know, I think was, we only started at the fifty, but it was like eleven or twelve plays. Um, so I was just you know so tired and exhausted from just I think I ran off to the sideline right after that. So I think it's it's in hindsight it's easy to look back and say you know after a loss, but uh, I think we made the right decision. Was there a debate? Was there guys on the sideline saying, "Come on, let's go for two, let's do it, let's do it," and Mayo shut it down or what? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember anything no. like that. I think. Um, I think in that scenario, I think you play for overtime. Our defense will be on the sideline, you know. So, um, you know, whatever the coaches decide, I think um, looking back, I think I, mean, I would do the same thing. So, I think it's a it's a hindsight either way you look at it. If we, we go for it and we don't win, then everybody's like, what are we doing? So, um, I think I was so exhausted just getting to the sideline, trying to get my, catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> on the play that ended the game, I think you called it a dumb decision um, last night in your postgame press conference. A couple questions there on specifics. Did Kendrick Bourne falling down – affect that do you think that safety was able to leave him and maybe cr- create a problem you didn't see and how much did wind f- play a factor in maybe it being underthrown yeah i think kb um you know maybe I, you know it's hard to kind of predict that uh, maybe could have held the safety a little more but um you know i think i still you know, i think you know my wind answer what i said last night was kind of off of reaction i don't think you know win with the quarterback and I don't think it plays that big a factor. So, really, I think it just underthrew it. Um, i got to put it out there more for Booty and um, I'll let him go make a play. Um, so, really, I think this is just my, my decision-making and uh, maybe sometimes maybe throw it away throw it away there. Or, or if not, you know, from our opposite 40, maybe try to throw it in the end zone and, and have a you know Booty maybe try to catch it over the shoulder. I think, uh, you know, really, I don't think the win ended up being that big a deal. I think it was more just a – my reaction after the game to make myself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Appreciate the honesty. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, that is uh, that's definitely honest. Uh, the the play call there, obviously, to go take a take a deep shot downfield. You still had some time left. It was first down. Any second thoughts on that after uh, after seeing how it ended? Well, I like taking a shot. I think I like taking a shot to go for it. You know, you know, seal the game. And I think I had him. You know, I mean, shoot, I had him. And um, you know, whether or not you know KB staying up or um, or not affects that safety. You know, I still had eyes on him and saw him and. Um, I think once he fell, he made it, you know, drifted towards the middle of the field more. But at the same time, I think I had a chance at booty and uh, got to step into it more. We always talk about a young quarterback like every rep matters, experience, learning. But are you legitimately learning from the interception that was a little late over the middle under pressure or the fumble? Like, do you feel like you're banking experiences of what not to do when the stove is hot and how not to touch it again. Yeah, I think to store in those uh, mistakes and, and learn from them and uh, hopefully not be a repeat, you know, repeat, you know, offender of, of these mistakes. I think that's the biggest thing that Coach Mayo preaches is not, you know, being a repeat mistake guy. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do back there in these, these games and these plays that turn out to be, you know, huge for the outcome of the game. Um, like you said, I think, you know, there's multiple times that first drive, taking a sack and getting us out of full goal range or making the field go farther for Joey uh, makes it tough. The interception on third down or, we got a chance to punt them, in, punt them inside the 10 and uh, maybe flip the field and you know when we get the ball back. So little things like that that can go a long way into impacting the game. I think you know, you're learning in that and, and realizing, hey, you know, not every play needs to be a you know a home run. Is We've there had, a fine oh, line sorry, there? Guys. Sorry. Is there a fine line there, though, staying aggressive and not being afraid, you know, not throwing everything away unless the guy's wide open? You know what I mean? Like yeah, still being a playmaker? Is. I think there definitely is. I think that, that, that side of me, I'm, I'm not going to lose ever. I think that's hard. You know, take away the playmaker and the aggressiveness of me. So just being smarter with uh, when not to be, I think that's the biggest thing. We've asked you questions about feeling like a leader. You said that you do and that the quarterback kind of has to. After that throw at the end, after the game was over, it seemed like a lot of guys were coming up to you and, and talking to you, trying to pick you up like that. And then after the game, a lot of your teammates had a lot of nice things to say about you. Do you feel as though you're becoming more of a leader in the locker room and that it's starting to become sort of a, a thing in that in that room, in that space? Is that more? Is that developing more as the season goes on? Yeah, I appreciate those guys, you know, for, for – uh you come over and, and saying things to me and, you know, tell me to keep my head up. You know, that goes a long way, you know, especially as a quarterback in a decision like that um, at a time in that, that point in the game where we're into the game. Um, it was tough. I think, uh, you know, just more. Uh, I'm going to be harder, you know, on myself than probably anybody's going to be harder on me. So that's the 
the mindset I try to keep. And um, you know, I think I think there's another st- step I can take in leadership wise, and I gotta go. Um, you know, re- go whether make some make some plays and uh, kind of be smarter with the football. I think that will go a long way and kind of earn the guys trust and, and respect. But I think I got respect in that locker room with those guys and uh, kind of earn it throughout the throughout the year and kind of can make the next step and being so vocal and uh, do a little things with teammates to uh, kind of be that, that quarterback leader that, that uh, everybody wants. You almost got to 100 yards yesterday, I believe all on scrambles. I think AVP's talked a little bit, not not a ton of designed runs yet. Would you like to see some more designed runs incorporated into the offense to utilize your skill set? Um, No, I think I think kind of just dropping back there and, and, hey, they're not you know taking advantage of the rush lanes and – and little things like that, I think I find enough ways to kind of make plays with my feet and trying to extend plays and, um, you know, hit pop on, on, a, on a crosser late over the middle, so extending plays. So I think, you know, plays like that, I think we have enough of that in our offense. You know, I think running the football would be, um, you know, tough on my body and um, taking taking some hits, extra hits that you may not need when we got a, you know, big-time back like Mondre and those guys, A.G. Um, and Hasty, when you got back like those guys, uh, especially Mondre, uh, I think you want to give him the ball and, and let him run rather than me. All right, we got uh, the Chicago Bears this weekend. You guys are heading out to Chicago on uh, Thursday, Friday. It's the first time you've gone up against one of these other rookie quarterbacks uh, with Caleb over there. Does that a little extra there? Is that something you want to maybe ball out a little bit harder? You're going up against another rookie. Yeah, anytime you go up against somebody, you know, in your class, you know, especially another rookie, um, I think you want to come up on the winning side. So um, definitely, you know, any week is you know this is more the most important week of the year um, because it's this week, and that's what Coach Mayo. Um, what he stated in, in the team meeting, what he and what he's preaching. So uh, that's the big, that's the biggest thing. You know, I don't think the rookie rookie matchup is um, it's cool. It's, it's cool for the league. It's cool for me and Caleb. You know, we grew up and going to you know camps and seeing each other in high school and then in college and then now. So um, it's pretty cool dynamic. But um, you know, I think the biggest thing is coming out with the win. Speaking of cool, I read something online. I, I'm assuming it's true that Simmons, their big D tackle, said he sought you out and maybe said something to you after the game. That's going to make you feel good when a guy who's trying to kill you all game comes over and shows you a little respect, especially a guy like that who's a captain, a Pro Bowl talent, been in the league for a long time. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, I think, um, you know, big big Simmons, big Jeff is a problem. You know, your problem in there, problem inside, the great player, and um, it's pretty cool seeing these guys, you know, around the league when I was in, in high school and college being like, man, that guy's a good player, man, <laughs> just watching him on TV and, and now seeing those guys and playing against him. Um, so I think it's pretty cool to – you know, different throughout the weeks and seeing guys, you know, in, in the Texans, you know, uh, Daniel Hunter and, and Will Anderson and guys like that that you're getting to play now and was playing against Rodgers last week. So uh, I think it's, you know, just the NFL is a, a great place for kids who grew up as a fan like me um, to go and, and not be competitors. Do you think that'll ever wear off? Like, do you feel like, oh, yeah, that guy is just a coworker. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is just a coworker. Yeah, I don't think that'll ever wear off. You know, as a football <laughs> fan that I, that I grew up um, and, and how much I loved, you know, watching these guys play and, Having on my fantasy team growing up, I don't think that ever wear off. <laughs> All right, quarterback question of the week brought to you by Northeast Men's Health, experts in treating men's sexual health with five new New England offices or at northeastmenshealth.com. This comes to us from Dimitri in Cambridge who asks, you were in Tennessee this past weekend going to Chicago. What cities have been the best to visit so far as an NFL player and which ones are you looking forward to visiting? Mm, that's a good question. Um, you know, I think you know Nashville's pretty sweet. You know, I'm a, I grew up in the South, um, you know, country music fan and, and barbecue fan, so... Um, it was nice being in Nashville. Um, London was pretty cool. It was different. Um, it was kind of different when you got to go over there for a business trip. Um, I thought San Fran was, was cool because you know, the weather is such great weather out there. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to getting to Chicago. I think I've been to Chicago one other time. I think my brother Luke played up there um, one time to, in college. So, um, looking forward. I'd probably say Nashville has probably been my favorite growing up in the South. What about college? What was your favorite road game to play and what was your least favorite for whatever reason bc <laughs> <laughs> yeah we go, I, I never came up here to bc oh I think, really i think we're playing this year up here so okay. i missed it maybe by one year um going to tallahassee and florida state was pretty cool um you know death valley and clemson was was a good we had a night game there that was pretty sweet yep. and then uh, my first college game ever my true freshman year was when sam howell was playing played at virginia tech so oh, it's kind of yeah. that that's that i think we were seventh in the country so that was a big time game um but you know my least favorite um I wouldn't say, you know, at least I think it's all pretty cool. Was yeah. LaTeX intimidating? Because that's uh, Metallica, right? Off to Niv and Niv. Yeah, and kind of. That place <laughs> yeah. gets rocking. In the sand. That must have been a little intimidating. Sam, you go out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I kind of get what it's called, the sand. Uh, sand Sandman or whatever. Yeah, sand yeah. Man. So enter Sandman or whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, Drake May, thank you so much for the time today. Good luck in Chicago, and we'll talk to you next Monday. Sweet. Thank you. All right.